Hello boys and girls, it's Miss Mullins, otherwise known as Grandma Mignon if you're watching my YouTube channel for story time. So today is Earth Day, April 22nd, and I want to share one of my favorite stories of all time. It's about trees. It's about how trees love us, and we should love the trees and take care of them to save Mother Earth. It's called The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. It's an AR book, so if you haven't taken a test on The Giving Tree, here's your chance to get some points. I want to say a special shout out to my scholars at Mount Zion Elementary School. Hey, keep up the good work. Once there was a tree. And she loved a boy. And every day the boy would come. And he would gather her leaves and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches and eat apples. Now we know what kind of tree it was, right? An apple tree. And they would play hide and go seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree. Very much. And the tree was happy. But time went by, and the boy grew older, and the tree was often alone. Then one day the boy came to the tree, and the tree said, come boy. Come climb my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I'm too big to play, to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy. And she said, come boy, climb my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children. And so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house. But if you cut off my branches, you can cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy, she could hardly speak. Come boy, she whispered, come play. I'm too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far from here, far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk 
and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. After a long time, the boy came back again. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening up herself as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. The giving tree. That is just the most wonderful message about a tree that loved this boy so much she gave all she had to give down until she was just a stump. And even then she wanted to give him a place to sit and rest. I believe these trees and all of nature have love to give us and we have to give that love back we think about it on earth day especially but we should think about it every day please be aware of all the beautiful nature that surrounds you and be responsible take care of mother earth and she'll take care of you until next time peace